Hey guys, so today is day seven and today's question is a little bit long and so I want to be able to dig deep into the response. So this is probably not going to be a real video. I'm going to make it a longer video. All right. So today's question says, how do you understand what you are feeling each time to ensure that your mind or emotions are not mixing things up? Um, for example, how do you make sure you're not mixing up fear with genuinely not being ready or fit for something? So when I started this, I mentioned that, you know, I'm currently in a place where I am reflecting and introspecting. And this is actually a great way to examine your thoughts and your emotions towards something. And when you pause to reflect, you have the opportunity to ask yourself, like, why am I resistant to this one thing? Okay. Now I, for example, I've had a moment where, you know, I kept procrastinating on something that I knew that was important for my journey. Um, and I knew that I really wanted to do. And so when I took time to reflect and just, just pause and just think about it, like, you know, go in words and say to myself, Adora, why are you not moving this thing forward? One of the things that I discovered was that my fear stemmed from a place where I didn't have a certain skill that I actually needed to actualize this thing um, long term, right? And to drive it towards momentum. And so my thing was now to say, okay, if that's the gap in the equation that I foresee, right? Like, how do I find someone else who has that certain skill and can contribute that skill to uh, moving this vehicle forward. Okay. And that's exactly what I did. I hundred percent believe that our mind and our heart knows when we are afraid of something. Okay. And so you can, you can jazz yourself with all the, <laughs> with all the thoughts of, you know what, I can do this affirmations. I got this. And I, but your heart and your mind knows when you're really afraid of something. And so the fastest way that I found to get myself out of that zone, out of that zone of fear is to push myself incrementally. And how do I do that? I set a goal and I become publicly accountable for it. So last month, um, I did a 30 day challenge. Like this was something that, you know, I really wanted to do for my fitness goals. And so I announced this publicly and I also got a couple people into a group for accountability purposes. Now, let me tell you this, right? A 30 day challenge is not random. There's actually a science behind a 30 day challenge. And there's a psychology study that shows that the actual length of time that it takes to turn any behavior from a new behavior into um, an automatic response response takes between 18 days and 254 days. So a 30 day challenge is a great way to actually get the ball rolling and push yourself out there. Okay. This is about, first of all, deciding that you want to be ready and then figuring out the things that you need to put in place so that you can actually feel ready.